Okay guys, welcome back to the uh, next part of the tutorial series. In this tutorial uh, we're going to do our basic mesh in Autodesk Maya, uh, which we can then take into ZBrush to make the uh, high poly sculpt of it. A um, couple of things I'm going to do before we start this process is I'm going to change my grid here, uh, come up to display, grid, and then this little box here. I'm going to change length and width to 15, I'm going to keep my subdivisions, uh, uh, my grid lines every 5 units, and then I'm going to take like uh, let's say 30 subdivisions something like this uh, this is probably way too many but it'll do for now I'm going to come to my top view um, I'm going to hit spacebar and then uh, put my mouse over to the top view here and then I'm going to hit space again I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here um, I'm gonna start by making a plane so I'm going to going to come to the polygon shelf and hit a plane here <coughs> and I'm gonna uh, expand this polyplane one and I'm going to uh, just have one subdivision on the width and height um, and then I'm going to scale it uh, by two in both the X and the Z directions so we have a plane like this one uh, I'm going to put my um, pivot point in the top left corner and then I'm gonna put it in the um, square down here um, so that we have something like this now um, actually you know what um, on second thought, I'm going to put it up here. I like it better up here. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to start. Um, I'm then going to. Uh, this is basically the basically the plane that we're going to use to render the texture onto. Um, so we're going to have to put all of our planks on top of this one. So we're going to do that by using cubes. So I'm just going to create one cube here. Um, and I'm just just going to go into wireframe mode here. I'm going to make sure that these are. Um, rectangular in shape so something like uh, this will, will do fine uh, let's see we want a longer one I guess uh, then we also want a shorter one uh, let's see maybe something like maybe something like this Let's see. I'm going to, of course, also make sure that these are snapping to the grid by holding down X. Um, so we want one that's going to take up an entire row here. Uh, then we want one that takes about half of it. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put my pivot point to the bottom of this one. And half of it would be like this. So we're going to have this one. We're going to have this one. Oh, come here point down here um, and that will probably do for this one so um, when we're doing st uh, tiling textures like this um, what we really want is um, just zoom in like this um, we want uh, to put our pieces so that they overlap so if I for example put this piece here um, you see that we still have one, two, three, four, five, six tiles down here missing, but that's totally fine, and that's actually what we want because they're overlapping from up here. So if we um, eventually fill all of this in and then we duplicate all of these uh, down here, then it will automatically tile um, in the well in the C direction down here. So don't worry about that. That's totally what we want. So just follow along here, and you'll see. Um, so I'm now gonna grab this one. Yeah, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna overlap this one by. Um, why is that not really working for me? Oh, okay, so this one is not really rectangular. I want this one to be like that. So we're gonna take this one. You can see that this one is now overlapping by three, which means that we still have to fill um, this plane up to here. Uh, so that we only have um, are, are only missing three tiles down here, three by two. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this one, and I'm going to put this one down here. So you can see that now we are left with this gap here, um, which are the three tiles, that's, uh, three by two tiles that are, that are going to come from up here. So we can now take this one again. We can duplicate this, and let's not put it exactly where the other one is. Let's not put it here. Let's put it somewhere like here. Um, this is overlapping by four by two, and that's that's what we need down here. So that this this one's good. Um, 
excuse me, we can now take this one, duplicate that, and put it like, um, let's, let's, yeah, let's just put it here, and then duplicate this again, put it down here. Now this does uh, start to seem like a, like a staircase here, but that doesn't really matter. It's not gonna really gonna be noticeable when when tiling the texture. So let's just put this one here, and let's duplicate these a couple of times more. Um, let's put it, um, yeah, let's just put it here, and let's duplicate this one and go here. So this is actually um, done for now. So I'm gonna demonstrate this by selecting these items here, these objects. I'm going to group these and I'm then going to duplicate this one and I'm going to uh, put them over here um, so you can see that the ones that we uh, had out here is actually now filling in this piece here so that's all good so if we do group these two as well duplicate this and let's just put the pivot point up here and we pull them down here you can see that it snaps perfectly into here and that they do indeed tile um, perfectly. So that's all good. So we're back here. Um, separated all of these uh, again and we're going to... Uh, this is actually all we need to do inside of Maya. Um, we will now uh, select all of this and we'll go to File, Export Selection and let's see where do I want to go. Let's just go Desktop Graphical stuff. I'm gonna make a new folder. Wood texture tutorial. And I'm gonna make a new folder. OBJs. I'm just gonna put it in here. I'm just gonna call it um, wooden planks base mesh. That's all we're good. I'm gonna hit export selection. Uh, I'm gonna export it as an OBJ, of course. Um, yeah. So this is all we, we are going to need to do in Autodesk Maya, and this is all for this tutorial video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to ex uh, import this into ZBrush and start our sculpting. Um, so uh, there are a couple of different things that we need to do before starting the actual sculpting process, but uh, let's just uh, take care of that in the next video. So thanks for watching this one, and see you guys there. Hey guys, so just a quick correction, we actually do have to do a little bit more work inside of uh, Autodesk Maya here. So I'm going to go back to my perspective mode by hitting uh, space again, and coming over here and hitting space again. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in on this one. My middle mouse uh, scroll wheel on this uh, mouse here is not really working for me, so I'm just going to have to scale in a different way. So I'm just going to scale in, and uh, zoom in rather, and look at this one. So you can see now that we have all of these cubes here, and that's all good. We're gonna take all of these and we're just gonna scale them down. I'm still gonna put it on top of this plane here, but uh, I'm just gonna scale them down a bit. What we're also going to do is we're going to take the faces of these uh, planks here and we're gonna sort of give them a couple of different heights. Um, this is gonna show in our um, height map, which we're going to do to make some uh, color variation on our uh, wood te texture, so uh, we're going to do that in Photoshop, but um, in order to get this effect, we're going to have to give all of these planks a couple of different heights. Um, so this will we'll probably do, um, just so that we have some variation in there. Um, yeah, so this is probably good. So I'm going to take these um, objects here, and again we're going to come to File, export selection and we're just going to overwrite the one that we had before um, so there we go um, this should now be uh, what we have and this should be good and we can pull this into uh, ZBrush um, so see you guys in the next video